Merry Christmas. I am Ed McNeil, Dean of NorCal Plus Deanery in the Diocese of Church for the Sake of Others, and this is a brief Deanery newscast. We have a lot going on. Here are some highlights. The Reverend Ryan Jones is going on sabbatical for three months, beginning January 6th. The Reverend Kristen Yates is moving to Redwood City and will be providing sabbatical support at Eucharist in San Francisco while Ryan is away. Kristen is moving from Washington, D.C. to Redwood City to start a new church called Community of the Way. During the first quarter of 2015, she'll be scouting the land and doing some preliminary work while she is supporting Eucharist. Bro Innocent, an immigrant from Nigeria who's been in San Jose for five years, has started an Igbo service at St. James. Meeting once a month, they're averaging 50 a Sunday. Innocent hopes to start seminary in January at Newbegin House in San Francisco. Kyle Logan graduated from Beeson Divinity School in December and is in the process of moving to San Jose where he will begin a curacy at St. James. His long-term plan is to move to San Francisco to church plant. You can read Kyle's blog at www.myroadtoemmaus.com. Kyle and the Reverend Randy Damari will be, God willing, ordained to the Sacred Order of Deacons on February 7th, 1.30 p.m. by Bishop Todd Hunter. Randy is previously ordained in the Assemblies of God and is currently working as a hospital chaplain and assisting Christ's Redeemer in Davis. Father Chris has had to step back from St. John's in Arinda, and he and his family hope to begin attending there as members once a new priest is settled in. I anticipate announcing this appointment very soon. Father Chris will be providing pulpit supply for the Dini, for which we are extremely grateful. You may have noticed we haven't got any. The Reverend Victor Schreffler reports that attendance at Trinity has risen into the low 40s in 2014 and continues to grow as they settle into their new neighborhood in their new building. Yay! The Reverend Joshua Lichter is so, so close to opening a coffee shop in Roseville. The new coffee shop will be called Fig Tree. Joshua needs to raise another $5,000 to qualify for the small business loan he hopes to get to get this off the ground. If you'd like to help with a year-end donation, he would be greatly appreciative. I'm taking a short sabbatical during January to write some, some, some words on faith and learn how to scuba dive. During January, should you need a dean's advice, please call the Reverend Victor Schreffler. For deanery business, please call Pat Morse at St. James. And now a little uke for you, a little Christmas music for you. Merry Christmas.